Hi, I'm Julia Hardy and it's that time of week again. Our insider intel has been piling up and we've been sifting through an ever-expanding inbox to bring you the choicest morsels of gaming news in this EA update. The Old Republic's new game update, 1.3 Allies, has arrived. This elegant update for a more civilised age introduces shiny new features that fans have been asking for, including a handy group finder tool that helps players to quickly join others to take on flashpoints and operations, making more advanced group adventuring even easier. The legacy system incorporates new bonuses, including advancement perks that allow you to customise your own levelling experience. Plus, with adaptive gear, social gear can now be used in combat, allowing you to look your best on all occasions but still have the top bonuses from your finest combat gear. There are plenty of other exciting new features too, so to learn more, click on the link below and become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Sorry. It's a huge week for Mass Effect fans as the Mass Effect 3 Extended Cut DLC finally launched on 26th of June. This pack, free to download for Mass Effect 3 owners, contains additional sequences and epilogue scenes that give players a further insight into their Commander Shepard's journey based on choices made during the long struggle against the Reapers. Let's just hope, you know, he doesn't wake up in the shower. Our Sims now have another reason to be better dressed than us. Diesel Stuff is the latest pack announcement from The Sims 3 and offers players edgy and iconic fashion and furnishings from real-life Italian clothing company Diesel. It comes with over three dozen clothing items from Diesel and 55 DSL to spruce up your Sims, plus a fine selection of home furnishings. However, no word yet as to whether this Diesel Stuff pack actually makes your Sims more flammable. DreamWorks Studios have acquired the film rights to the Need for Speed franchise, as recently announced by DreamWorks CEO Stacey Snyder and EA President of Studios Frank Gibbon. A movie is already in the works, due for release in 2014. EA is set to produce along with Hollywood veterans John Gattins and Mark Surian. Scott War, best known for his work on Act of Valor, is attached to direct what will no doubt be a fast-paced blockbuster indeed. We can see the bright lights of Hollywood already. Or is that an oncoming vehicle? Hot on the heels of the announcement of their Magpul partnership, Medal of Honor Warfighter have recently revealed SOG speciality knives and tools as the latest company to lend their particular brand of expertise to the franchise. At the International Tier 1 photo shoot, SOG outfitted the 12 Tier 1 operators with blades and tools to help them look the part. They also brought along a prototype of a new Tomahawk design, developed especially for one of the most notorious characters ever to appear in a Medal of Honor game. Say hello to the Voodoo Hawk. Ooh. Now, we know you're not really supposed to bring a knife to a gunfight, but with one of these, well, it couldn't hurt. Or would it? Probably. Football fans will be pleased to learn that EA Sports has unveiled an exclusive FIFA 13 Ultimate Edition, which will supply players with 24 FIFA Ultimate Team Gold Packs to kickstart their season, and the most extensive global pre-order incentive in the history of the FIFA franchise. Each Gold Pack is a mix of 12 items, including players, contracts, stadiums, managers, and loads more. And the two FIFA 13 pre-order incentives are the offer of EA Sports Football Club benefits or an exclusive Adidas All-Star team featuring Lionel Messi. However, this exclusive deal is available for just one day only, September 28th, so make sure you don't miss it. To find out more, check out the official site by clicking on the link below. Score. That's all from this EA update, but we'll have fresh headlines ready and waiting for you this time next week.